channel. Thanks again for being here. So today is a little chilly. The weather is changing so quickly. I am not a happy camper. But along with the weather change comes me craving some warm and cozy meals. So that's where this video comes into play. I'm going to be making a yummy yummy squash. It's a spaghetti squash. I'm going to put that in the pressure cooker. And then I'm also going to make a lentil mixture which it's going to include tomatoes in it a lot of tomatoes um, and it's going to be very flavorful with some herbs in it as well i like to add extra oregano even though there's basil actually in the tomatoes already so if you don't like lentils beans work really well i do use beans sometimes um, for this meal so you would just do the same thing just make the beans um, in the pressure cooker or the pot with your seasonings and then you can just top that um, you know squash with your yummy bean mixture it works really well um again i like quick and easy meals you guys know that so by having the instapot it saves me a ton of time and you don't have to only own the instapot because i know that they can be pricey there are cheaper versions and they work fine my first one i had for i want to say like almost two years i used it all the time and then finally it was the insert that started to go on me because it wasn't stainless steel it was like a ceramic coating um, and eventually it started to wear out so i couldn't use it anymore that's why i switched over to the instapot but it worked perfectly fine like i didn't see that it worked um, any less you know and had any less options than the instapot wash is going to be topped with this yummy yummy lentil mixture and i just feel like it's warm and hearty and i'm going to enjoy that because like i said it's kind of cold now already um apparently today is supposed to warm up later and that i feel is even worse because then you start off freezing during the day you're sending your kids to school now because now school's in and they're wearing jackets and then by the end of the day it's nice and warm and they don't need the jackets and they don't even know what to put on anymore that's just uh how we roll here where i live in toronto canada so let me know in the comments below what you are craving lately and what you are eating depending on where you live i guess the weather kind of dictates you know like in the summertime for me i'm craving you know fresh um, raw veggies and a lot more salads and then now as the weather gets colder i'm already craving like stews and warm meals so let me know what your favorite meals are currently so i'm back to having side bangs again i'm going to try to cut my hair today my daughter was cutting my hair in corona time um well my bangs anyway but now they keep growing out really quickly because my hair grows so quickly my hair is like almost down to my butt now it is really really long and i need to cut it so i'm going to try to find a place that will take me today um, because my hairdresser is no longer at the salon where i would normally went so now i'm kind of looking for somebody um anybody that can cut my hair because i can't go on like this like right now i have a bun in and it's so heavy because it's so long and i have to like keep wrapping it <laughs> to create the bun and after a while it hurts and then working 12 hour shifts in the hospital my head is killing me after so and i need to be able to pull it up sometimes when things get busier and i just can't have my hair down so i really really need to make time for myself and cut my hair today so if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and that way you don't miss any upcoming videos and any new content so, so it's already the fall season and i have this awesome coffee i have another one we're in the process of moving um, i have another one at the new house and it's like a pumpkin spice that one's really good too but i really really like this one it's not that strong and you just get the hints of you know the cinnamon and you know all the pumpkin spice flavor but it's not like intense so i don't have the normal coffee maker here um, so i'm going to be using just the keurig and i have these pods and you can actually just fill it up so you don't have to have any extra waste you just put the coffee grounds in here and then you pop it into your Keurig and that's it. You just clean it and it's super easy to clean. I absolutely love these and I use it with any coffee that we grind up, not just this flavored one because this is like a treat. Uh, we do have an organic brand that we get at Costco and we just grind it up and put it in here. If we know we're not going to have, you know, a lot of coffee um, or there aren't, you know, a few people over or a few people having it, then, you know, this is perfect because you just get your one serving and that's it. So 
I just have two cups of brown lentils here. I'm going to be rinsing them and then I'm going to cook them in the pressure cooker for a few minutes. They're all rinsed. I just threw them into the pressure cooker and now I'm going to add a can of tomato and some seasonings. These are the tomatoes that I'm going to be adding in and I really like these. I get them at Costco and they just work really well with so many recipes. Um, I feel like they are super, super fresh and they actually have basil in it, which I really like. So I added the can of tomatoes and I'm just gonna kind of crush up the tomatoes with my spoon just a little bit, just to break them down. And then I'm gonna add some seasonings and get this thing going. I also added one cup of water to this mixture. These are the seasonings that I used in the lentil mixture. So I added chili powder, oregano, paprika, and garlic powder. So garlic powder, I know I definitely put in about a tablespoon easily. Um, I like it very garlicky, maybe even a little bit more than a tablespoon. And then I would say the paprika and the chili powder, probably a teaspoon, and probably a teaspoon of the oregano as well. I just eyeball everything, but you put whatever seasonings you prefer. And if you like these, just eyeball it, taste it, see if that's how you like it. And you can always add more seasonings later, so I wouldn't stress about it. And if you don't want to add anything, don't add anything, because the tomatoes are going to add a really nice flavor anyway. So here is my spaghetti squash. It's a pretty good size, I think. I'm going to add this to my other pressure cooker and I'm just going to cook this up for a few minutes and that way it is fork tender and I can start shredding it and then I can top it with the lentils. So I just put the steamer tray in that came with the Instapot and I added a little bit of water, it's about half a cup of water in there. And then I'm going to remove that sticker off of um, my spaghetti squash and then, yeah, I'm just going to um, pop them in here and allow it to steam up and it will cook pretty quickly. This is the fastest way um, to cook it. You can, you know, cut it in half and roast it in the oven if you wanted to, but um, really it works perfectly well in here and it's just a lot faster and easier. So it's going on for 15 minutes and yeah, it should be nice and tender and I can shred it and it's going to be so fantastic. So. Thank goodness for pressure cookers because like I've got both going and this is a normal day here at home. Um, they are just such a time saver and you can make pretty much everything in these things and it doesn't have to be an Instapot. There are other brands I'm sure that are perfectly fine but um, I find that these ones are super easy to clean and use and it's just my favorite appliance ever. So this is the perfect consistency. The lentils are still intact, they're not mushy, it is perfect. Um, and then, see how hearty this is? Like, you're gonna add this on top of your squash and you are gonna feel so full and satisfied for so long. scooping out the seeds right now. Okay guys, I actually did it. I got my hair cut, fixed up my bangs, which is fantastic, and I did something drastic. 
I chopped it all off basically. I have short hair now. Well, I know people still consider this to be long hair, but when your hair is almost to your butt and then you cut so much, it's now short hair to me. So this is where we're at. Um, it's gonna be really easy, I think, to maintain. Um, and I cut all that dead hair that was like super dry um, from using the box dye since Corona has started and now I feel like it's so silky and smooth and just so so much healthier. I feel like it's so much lighter and I'm really gonna enjoy having the shorter hair. It is straight right now and my hair is naturally really wavy. I used to have like super curly hair, but then each pregnancy my hair got like weaker, thinner, blah, 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 you know the deal. Um, so now it's just really wavy, but when it's this short, it like bounces back and it gets curly again. So I anticipate having it really curly again once, you know, it's washed and natural, but uh, this is it straight right now. Thanks so much for watching the video guys. If you stuck around till the end, I appreciate it. And thanks so much to the new subscribers and all my original subscribers for all the support and love. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next week.